says May 8th, Pastor is saying to us, Practice being alone with God. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 16 of the New Living Translation. But Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. There's something about solitude. If you don't understand the value of solitude, there's a lot that you can miss in life. It's so important to have personal times alone with God. Before revelation comes isolation. When you learn the value of having private time of fellowship with the Lord, you'll be amazed at the transformation that will take place in your life and how effective you'd be in the things of God. Never take your private times with the Lord lightly. Maybe you have some people that every now and then are at your door because they need to see you or speak with you about one thing or the other. Be smart. If you spend most of your time in casual or vain chatter with others and spend lesser time fellowshipping with the Spirit, you're not going to accomplish much in life. Jesus understood the value and power of privacy with God. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 23, the Bible says, And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Our theme verse shows us that he did this often, but Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. Luke chapter 5, verse 16 of the New Living Translation. At the time everyone was clamoring for his attention, he withdrew into the wilderness to pray. In fact, on a certain occasion, he escaped to go and pray, and they were looking for him. The Bible says, and in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. And Simon, and they that were with him, followed after him. Mark chapter 1, verses 35 to 36. Practice this. Make the effort to have your personal times with God every day. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, as I spend time with you in fellowship, the intensity of your glory in my life is increased. I am transfigured from glory to glory. I experience victory, divine health, and blessings. My life is an expression of your supernatural grace, glory, perfection, beauty, and righteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, and Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 4, verses 1 to 26, and 1 Kings chapter 1. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 to 11, and Proverbs chapter 4. Rhapsody of reality.